feeling so fresh and alive, and I'm so glad to arrive. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best Judy Garland musical numbers. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. Clang, clang, clang went the trolley, ding, ding, ding went the bell. Shout hallelujah, come on, get happy. For this list, we'll be looking at Garland's strongest and most beloved performances from her films only, excluding television shows and specials. Which Judy Garland musical is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Embraceable You – Girl Crazy Judy Garland and Mickey Rooney star in this second film adaptation of the 1930 Gershwin Brothers musical Girl Crazy. Embraceable You is performed by Garland in a stunning evening gown while she's surrounded by male suitors. Just one look at you, my heart grew tipsy in me. Her vocals are effortlessly beautiful in this charming and sweet number that fits the personality of Judy Garland in her younger years just perfectly. Come to baby, come to baby do. This song was originally cut from the first film adaptation in 1932, which definitely makes that version feel like it's missing something. Not that any other rendition could possibly compare to Garland's legendary talent and vocals. My intuition told me you'd come on the scene. Number 9. For Me and My Gal. For Me and My Gal. While Ballin' the Jack steals the show with its captivating showcase of Judy Garland's lesser-known dance skills, the titular song for me and my gal is really where Garland shines in this film. Well, you're gonna get a big surprise, cause I'm gonna put you wise. The bells are ringing. Paired with Gene Kelly in his silver screen debut, the two have amazing chemistry as performers. This song specifically highlights how beautifully their voices blend in harmony together. Something that is blue so they can make a true so for my girl. They're congregating for me and my girl. It isn't just a delightful performance between two huge Hollywood names, it's also a sweet reminder of the lifelong friendship that formed between these two co stars. Number 8. The Boy Next Door – Meet Me in St. Louis This is one of the most romantic songs in this festive musical. Judy Garland's character Esther Smith sings about her feelings for her neighbor John Truitt, whom she hasn't actually met yet. Though I dream of him all the while. It's one of Garland's most popular songs, and her white and blue striped dress is one of her most memorable costumes. How can I ignore the boy next door? The number itself has been praised for its effectiveness in expressing Esther's motivations and moving the story of the movie along. It's even become a prime example for other musicals to gain inspiration from. The image of Garland singing in the window is an especially unforgettable shot of a legendary performer, and it closes out the song beautifully. The boy next door. Number 7. I Don't Care in the Good Old Summertime. This uplifting and energetic number with its simple message is totally timeless in its relatability. I am my own superintendent, and my star is on the ascendant, that's why I don't care. Garland sings about not letting anything get in the way of her happiness, and the catchy chorus is an absolute mood. If I'm not successful, it won't be distressful, cause I don't care. Her massive popularity at the time of this film's release made it a huge success, and this song certainly does not disappoint for Judy Garland fans. The film was later remade, sans musical numbers, as the classic 1998 romantic comedy You've Got Mail, starring Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. 
If you liked You've Got Mail and you haven't seen In the Good Old Summertime, it's worth a watch, even for this lively song alone. There's nothing can change me cause I know I care. Number 6. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, Meet Me in St. Louis. This song is a Christmas staple, and one of Judy Garland's most well-known, and for very good reason. As their father's job is about to take the Smith family away from St. Louis, Garland's Esther sings to her younger sister Tootie to console her. Next year all our troubles will be miles away. It's a beautiful moment in the film, but the song's popularity as a Christmas classic has far surpassed its movie musical origins. Someday soon, we all will be together. It's the fates of love. Now a standard, it has been covered by many famous artists, like Frank Sinatra, Ella Fitzgerald, and Michael Bublé. Still, no rendition could compare to the timeless originality of Garland's heartfelt performance in this familiar favorite we look forward to hearing every holiday season. A merry little Christmas Number 5 Zing went the strings of my heart, Listen Darling. This 1934 song was featured in the film Listen Darling and sung by Judy Garland's character the young Pinky Wingate, but it had already been a staple of Garland's and would be for the rest of her career. Your eyes made sky seem blue again, what else could I do again but keep repeating through and through, I love you. When Garland auditioned for MGM Studios in 1935, she sang this song and was signed to a contract on the spot. She continued to perform it at many subsequent concerts and television specials. I still recall the thrill, I guess I always will, I hope to never depart. For Listen, Darling, Garland recorded two versions of the song, one in a more up-tempo swing style, as well as the ballad heard in the film. I knew I loved you heaps, and you were mine for keeps. At just 16, this performance cemented her status as a talented actress and singer. Number 4. The Trolley Song, Meet Me in St. Louis. As Esther and her friends ride the trolley to the construction site of the 1904 World's Fair, everyone is already filled with an exhilarated buzz. When she sees a certain young man climb aboard, though, Esther just can't contain herself. I went to lose a jolly hour on the trolley and lost my heart instead. Garland plays the nervous excitement of being close to one's crush perfectly. Pop, pop, pop went the wheels. Stop, stop. Her final expression as she looks at her love interest, John Truitt, is such a genuine and sweet moment. And it was grand just to stand with his hand holding to the end of the line. It's easy to see why the song is one of Garland's most well-loved. Its animated and up-tempo style is also very fun and different from the typical ballad she's known for. Number 3. The Man That Got Away, A Star Is Born In her first foray since leaving MGM Studios in 1950, Judy Garland plays an aspiring singer in this musical remake of the original 1937 film. Garland originated one of her staple songs, a cover of George Gershwin's Swanee in this movie. But The Man That Got Away is inarguably the most important number in the movie. The winds grow colder Suddenly you're older. This is reflected in the great care that was taken to make this scene perfect. It was filmed in more than 40 takes on three separate occasions and is presented in one continuous shot in the final cut of the film. And never a new love will be the, same. the 
final product is a perfectly intimate, romantic song that showcases Garland's exceptional talent in a simple and stunning way. A one man woman looking for the man that got away. Number 2. Get Happy, Summerstock Garland's final film with MGM was tragically riddled with personal struggles for the actress, but also produced one of her most famous performances in the final song, Get Happy. Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. You better chase all your cares away. Her costume in this scene is one of her most recognizable with her fedora and tuxedo jacket. And critics lauded her performance as Garland at her very best. It's quiet and peaceful on the other side. The catchy melody and celebratory lyrics are infectiously joyful, but also serve as a poignant reminder of Garland's heartbreaking experiences behind the scenes at this point in her life. With her off-camera difficulties in mind, it's truly inspiring to see how much beauty and happiness she could still produce through her unforgettable talents. Get ready! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Easter Parade, Easter Parade. We'll be the proudest couple in the Easter Parade. It's a great day for the Irish. Little Nellie Kelly. Cowans, McGowans, and Carricks, and Garricks, Mahonies, Malonies, O'Donnells, and Pallas are here to join the Jubilee. On the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe, the Harvey Girls. The joint is really jumping in Carnegie Hall. Thousands cheer. Huddle and hide and are facing the wall cause the joint is really jumping on a Carnegie Hall. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Over the Rainbow, The Wizard of Oz The film that made a teenage Judy Garland an international celebrity contains what is indisputably her most well-known song, the beloved ballad Over the Rainbow. Written by composer Harold Arlen, with lyrics by Yip Harburg, this tune won the Academy Award for Best Original Song in 1940. In the years since, it's become one of the most universally renowned in film history. Shockingly, this classic was almost cut from the film entirely, as it was thought to be too serious and slow for young audiences. Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops, that's where you Thankfully, it survived to the final cut of the film, and Garland's unforgettable performance expressing the desires of the young Dorothy Gale has been enjoyed by many generations of viewers. If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.